Hello and welcome back. And in this tutorial, we will be looking into the script including service now. So as always, let's start the tutorial with the code. So according to the service now docs, so script includes are used to store JavaScript that runs on a server side. Create script include to store JavaScript function and classes for use by server script. A script include defines either an object class or a script include only runs when called from a server side script. Script includes are in fact server side JavaScript and they, can, they are used to store JavaScript classes and functions or method. You can think of script include as reusable snippet of code that you might reference or invoke from another place in the system. It is important to know that script include only runs when it's invoked from another place. So just because a, a, you create a script include and the script include table, uh, you, unless you call it that script include from somewhere, this particular script include will never run. Okay. Script includes are unique since they can be called from anywhere. Okay. They can be called from a server side or they can be called from a client side. Okay, and we will see how it's got uh, how it get caused from both the side in some time. Okay, so let's move to the form section. So first we have the name, which is important because we we use this name to call the script include in uh, from the other place. So it's always important that we give it a unique and meaningful name. Okay, so it's always important there there is a client checkbox okay client label checkbox and if it's checked then the system will auto generate some javascript snippet code okay and uh, make it extend a Java ajax class will get it to this um, scripting part in the upcoming tutorials okay so you should not worry about that at this point of time just know that if client callable checkbox is checked then we can invoke this script include from the client script also and at finally at the bottom we have our actual javascript code in the script field which we run on a server side so just keep one thing in mind script include as is like a business rule which were which we have to call it will not invoke on itself and both runs on a server side okay now let's talk about some script includes characteristics so there are two types of script include okay uh, a classless script include where there is no javascript class being created this script include must have the name of the script e include equal to the function name so you can see in, uh, here on the right in the in this image the name get from your action of the script include must be exact same name of the function in the script include field you can see the name of the script include and the function in the script include is exactly said this classless script includes are server side only and cannot be invoked from the client script so there will be no client callable thing applicable to this kind of things okay now on the other hand in a client script includes this can be invoked from the client side or server side and they typically extend another class like shown here in this image how do you okay you can see i think it's visible for you okay so it extends ajax call okay and ajax provision again we'll talk more or we'll talk about more about ajax calls and all that in the coming tutorial but for now just know that there are classless kind of script include and the class script include so in classless script include the name of the script include should match the only function in the script there will be only one function and it should match to that and in class script include uh, this particular uh, you can define multiple functions over there okay whenever it comes to the class uh, script include the type property which will automatically be generated for us when we provide a name in the script include okay uh, and the prototype property so whenever we give the script include name so some boilerplate uh, plate code will get auto generated 
right now let's take a look at extending script include so any class may be extended okay a script include can be extended another script include this makes them very modular so common script include that extends from the ajax processor so the ajax processor comes out of the box and it gives us help of function so we are able to call the extended script include from the client side okay the syntax we use to extend another class is the class name you can see over here it's the class name dot prototype equal to object dot extend object then we pass in the first arg uh, argument the class which we are extending and then we write this code okay so basically this code means you don't want to worry about this this will get generated auto generated when we um, give the script include name okay so as always let's uh, we are we have two two uh, use cases so the first use case is about create a commonly used helper function so this is the most common practice right so if we are simply creating a commonly used helper function and storing those in a script include so many many maybe we perform calculations so often that we abstract the calculation in it own script include so then we can call that script include passing few arguments and we don't have to keep writing out the calculation every time for the reference for referencing at them okay in the second use case we call a custom function via client ajax and as stated before okay we will look into this scripting part in the coming to right now i'm just trying to make you aware about all the entities which are included in the service now so let's move to the demo part okay thank you so as you already know this is the dashboard or you can call as a home screen for this uh, service now when you log in okay so unlike like business rule and client script or ui action or uh, where we have uh, tried to open it from the forms or from the list view script include as i have told you is right we have to invoke it out so we can't get it from there so how to navigate to script include so it's quite simple in the filter navigator you can simply type script include okay and under system definitions you will find a module called script include so i will open it out and let's take uh, all the three examples okay the first example i will show the classless uh, script script include so let's take an example of this script include this is a classless script include so i will open it out in new tab and now you can see it has an entity called name the api name which gets auto generated and this field will always be a read only field uh, client callable checkbox will not add any value when we are creating classless script include so it's unchecked application group accessible is like when we work on a scope application right so you can define whether your script include can be accessed from other applications also or you want to restrict it for this particular application only in which you are working so you can see as this is a classless script include you can see there is only one function in the script tag okay and the name of the function can delete service category okay it matches to the name of the function so there is will be only one function which matches and the name of the script include and name of the function will be the same and over here you can see some code is written which we will visit in the coming tutorials okay let's move to the next uh, we will move to the class script includes now so i will remove this filter okay and let me try to open a script include called ajax list okay so this is ajax list this is a server a purely server side code okay because the client callable checkbox is not checked so this is script include the same entities as i already defined in description you can give description so here you can see it got create class created okay there is an initialize function and in initialize function you can see this um different set of attributes are there set relationship these are uh, this we can call as a functions okay the newly created functions so uh, these are the function which we can access from either the 
on from the server side only because there is no call uh, uh, client callable checkbox check okay let's move now we saw classless script include we saw class script, script include which does which is not callable from the client side okay and now let's see the uh, client callable script include example okay so i have pulled the field uh, field called client callable on the form on the list view and i will see for the script include which is client callable true so it can be called from the client side so let's open this example uh, if i open this out this is a client callable you can see the client callable checkbox is checked so you can see the difference okay so whenever we create we call a uh, script include from client callable right so this is just like that but the attributes means uh, the way of accessing the attributes will be quite different so here we will pass the attribute like this it's like this dot get parameter and the parameter name which we are passing from the client side script okay so in the coming tutorials you will come to know more about this but right now this is all we have for this tutorial hope you like this you are getting all the all the basics clear for the service now see you in the next tutorial thank you